Hello! Welcome, Dungeons & Dragons friends. Yes. We're the High Rollers, and we're presenting to you Lightfall's Descent. Uh, I'm the Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me, we have, you can see their names on the screen, but we're going to introduce them anyway. We have Rhiannon. It me. Chris. Hello. Trot. Kim. Hi. Tom. Hello. Katie. Hi. And we're here because Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus is coming soon. Whoa. And so we are taking our very first campaign characters, our first stream campaign characters, who are level 15, and they're going to hell. <laughs> Woo! Go pack them up, send them straight to hell. Send them straight to hell. Um, so if you're not familiar with us with the High Rollers, we do a regular D&D show in a homebrew campaign setting every Sunday at 5 p.m. UK time, so literally just before this one yeah. on our channel, yeah. uh, which you can check out. Um, but this is, yeah, all part of uh, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus, which is really, really cool. Um, and the, the kind of general theme of the campaign is our party of adventurers, when they were in their, their own world in their campaign, a friend of theirs, a companion, uh, called Trelamar Aleth, a drow warlock, sold his soul to Asmodeus to help buy them some time in a desperate siege that they were facing. Several years after the campaign ends, once our heroes have become leaders, rulers, who have done incredible feats, who have become really fat and had a kid, <laughs> uh, they are brought back as a visitor from another world, from the Forgotten Realms, from the world of Toril, arrives to tell them that they inf have information on Trelamar's soul contract. And with that, they transport themselves to Baldur's Gate. They made their way down um, through a temple of Kelimvor, found a entryway into a pocket dimension that led to the River Styx, and after fighting a Dracolich, made their way down the River of Styx into Avernus. Mm. And Avernus, you've already seen, is a place, a desolate wasteland of dust and brimstone and terrible war, the blood war between demons and devils wages in this place. Um, there are rocky obsidian mountains, but they extend far taller than they naturally should. There are huge dust storms that are toxic, uh, lethal to any that pass through them. Um, there are rivers of blood and molten lava and fire and great meteors that streak through the sky. Any flowers? It's pretty bad. No flowers. I can make it. No sunshine? Fun. No sunshine. Uh, no there is, good thing. There Who is needs someone? E you have fire. <laughs> there is really? an ever-present dull orange glow mm. that kind of just coats everything in this Blade Runner sort of style filter where everything is just this dull orange, high contrast uh, kind of vibe. What an actual daytime. One thing I'm going to change ever so slightly from when we finished last time is I think I described to you a kind of port town. Yes. The Iron yes. Port, yeah. The Iron Port. Mm. Um, ever so slightly changed. It's not called the Iron Port anymore, because I thought of a cooler idea. <gasps> yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, so what you first thought wasn't a port, uh, a port town with iron kind of spires or towers. Um, as the ferry that you travel on with the ferryman, the skeletal ferryman uh, pushing the way forward, you begin to realize the town is not so much a town but must have been once a huge, a gargantuan steel ship oh. that has been beached along the side of the River Styx. Now, not like a sailing ship, an ironclad. A flat deck with three huge steam towers rising from it, an elevated captain's quarters at the back, and then one large wheel uh, is still submerged in the River Styx itself, like a giant paddle wheel. On the other side, where it's been beached onto the land of Avernus, the wheel has broken away and long since been scavenged. And these dust storms have built up this huge kind of slope of dust and debris. So it kind of merges with the side of the ship, just leaving the top deck open. But you can see that the, the middle and lower decks are still you know, functioning and are still inhabited. Um, inhabited by what? Clearly, devils of all sorts, but you do see Clearly. <laughs> you do see other mortals. Yeah. Normally, they are collared, um, bound by chains, and being dragged around. Lovely. Um, but this, right the ferryman points a skeletal hand. The Iron Clan was once a tool of the devils to transport their troops along the river. But long has it been beached here. I felt it best to leave you here, for if I take you to the gates of Avernus true, well, they do not take kindly to mortals in their realm. 
That's odd. Like about there, there, about five minutes ago, this looked like a port town. <laughs> um, <laughs> you must be seeing things. Must be. You can see that the steam towers that once would have bellowed the steam generated by the infernal engine that drove the paddle wheels, they still billow smoke, but it looks to be more like a furnace or a soot um, billowing out into the thick orange sky. And you can see that there are dozens, hundreds of devils patrolling around. The ship is gargantuan as well. You can actually see that ramshackle buildings have been built on the deck of this old ship um, and have been constructed from loose metal and things like that. Um, and yeah, this uh, just being patrolled around. Um, there are gangways that have been lowered to act as a sort of dock and the ferryman begins pulling up. And on the other side, you see five or six snarling, spined creatures. Their bodies humanoid in shape, but covered in spines and barbs. Um, one of them has this kind of long beard, but made from these sharp barbs that it kind of controls and writhes, or writhes around. And they're waiting for another, for the ferry. And as you kind of step off, they kind of look your way. <sighs> oh, delightful. <clears throat> so they elaborate. They snarl and hiss. What are you doing here? And they begin hissing, but the ferryman simply lets you uh, leave. Good luck. Thank you. Wow. Yay. It doesn't seem like a good idea, guys. Honestly, do we have to? Unless you Trailmark. step over. Yes, we have to. He kind of likes this sort of thing. Does he? Yeah, I mean, he's a right? He came oh. from the other. We kind of passed through that. It's almost like they're neighboring places. I mean, if he no. left a clue for us, though. He could have just dropped his mask. Maybe. People drop things all the time. He sacrificed his life for us, and therefore we have to and get him. And I love him. that about him. Okay, we have to get him. What if we go all this way and it turns out he just loves this job? He found his calling, you know? Then we find our way back. But what if he, what if he doesn't? Trot, plug your mic in. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> We are professional, I do promise. We're not. No, we're not. No. no. That's a lie. Brilliant. Um, as, as you are having this conversation on the gangway, they didn't really need to hear it anyway, Troll. Um, you can see that flying overhead are these small kind of winged spined creatures. Um, and the, as you step off the ferry, the ferry pulls up to the other gangplank and these devils start basically piling in. They don't seem to, they just get on and then he begins leaving with them. You can see ahead of you the deck of this metallic ship and the, the floor itself is like metal and, and wood kind of bound together. Crowds of devils and creatures, <laughs> these huge giant winged, some of them appear to look like giant apes, they're kind of big knuckles dragging along the ground. You see several of the Iranese, the armoured woman with the, the feathered wings are also patrolling. They shove several of the lesser demons out of the way, kick them um, as they begin storming around. And a couple of them begin to start looking in your direction and a couple of the devils uh, start kind of whispering to each other. One of them, this large mantis-like blue-skinned creature with bipedal arms and a long tail, leans in and points like a gnarled claw in your direction. Can I hear what he's saying? Make a perception check for me. 20. 20? You hear, and you speak infernal? Mm -hmm. Well, also I speak everything now. You speak, oh, you speak everything now. Um, yeah, you hear kind of in this guttural, infernal language. Ah, mortals, what are they doing here? My friends, we are causing quite a stir. They are all talking about us. Maybe they want to chain us up and put us to work. Most likely, or eat us. I think that that might be another option. They probably want your soul, Reynard. Oh, no, they can't okay. have that. No, I like that, in me, actually, mm. or around me. I don't really know how souls work. Um, so how do we find where we need to go next? Who do we speak to? I don't think we should speak to people. I, I will. I, I don't think that that's a great idea. No. The Sounds blue like got mantis, a volunteer. The blue mantis-like devil begins making its way to you, and you are still kind of stood on this gangway with the river sticks behind you, it's bubbling, roiling, green souls drifting through it. And then directly in front of you, it opens into a large plaza, but this creature is 
beelining towards you. And you can see that just behind it, there is another... At first you think that they might be human, but then you see their inhuman yellow eyes. And it's a male form, quite muscular, but wrapped in chains all over its body. Um, and you can see that the chains kind of gently sway and whip around it as it begins striding after its fellow. Um, and they're making their way towards Honestly, you. Honestly, Azra's kind of like one of these guys. Probably a good intermediary person, oh, right? Thank you. <laughs> See, she takes it as a compliment. That's I think so she's weird. She's more pleasant than they are, though. She's really, she's being nice, and I think they, they're snarling and stuff, you know. Yeah, different, different ways of saying hello, I guess. <laughs> I could try snarling at them as well. Yeah. Maybe try and, you know, go the <laughs> stuff and no, try so and blend actually, in. They're like forty effort. feet. Like it's nearly on you guys as this creature is going to nudge Azra in front of us. I kind okay. of step back. Yeah. Good luck. Um, as, as you kind of step forward, this tall, and I'll show you what it looks like. <gasps> oh, oh, I want that. I want that. Uh, this mantis-like creature slams its spear on the ground in front of you and it hits a metal part of the deck and this resounding vibration kind of echoes out and several other of the more spine, smaller devils kind of like look over and this creature looms over you. It's like maybe like 12, mm. 13 feet tall and it kind of, it's mantis-like mandibles click down and you hear in your head this time, uh, you hear, Mortar, what brings you to Avernus? Whom do you serve? Oh, you great omnipotence! Oh, I'm too, I'm not worthy of your presence. Yeah, correct. So answer my question, flesh thing. I am Alzra. The Voidwalker. Mm. We have come to travel to Avernus. What brings you to Avernus, Alzra Voidwalker? We wish to bring back a companion. <laughs> I know, it's hilarious. But we're, it's, it's my job. And we're, we're doing a it job. together. I have been sent to escort. By, by a woman. <laughs> a mortal woman, you wouldn't be interested. He's just a puny mortal. In Infernal, it says something. Who speaks Infernal apart from Kim? Okay, only Juto understands this. It turns to this chained creature that's kind of standing behind it. These mortals don't have a patron. Free game, my friend. Ah. You seek a soul, Alzra Voidwalker. Yes, yes. Follow me. Mm, wait. Mm, mm. And it kind of puts one clawed hand on your shoulder, like, oh. and it begins digging in. Oh, guys! <laughs> <laughs> He's got my shoulder. <laughs> Noted. Yeah. Yes. I do see. Is it going well? Is this? Is this how this thing usually goes? Okay. You, so far, you don't hear any conversation. You just hear Alzra speaking, and then this thing is just like... Oh, we didn't hear like, the back. You don't hear, her, you don't hear its conversation. But Only the, you heard the infer. The, you heard that. Slave yeah. boys. Yeah, but they're, they're chained creature. Chain boys. Chain devil. Chain boys. Chain bros. Um, I, I will say to these guys as quietly as I can, um, they are talking of our souls and how we are free game. I do not suggest this is going well. And it's, what, what you feel, Alzra, it's trying say? to drag you now. What would it cost to grant safe passage through the ironclad? I would like safe, pa we would like safe passage through. Mm, safe passage. <laughs> You're dabbing. You're dabbing. What are you dabbing? Panic dabbing. Panic dabbing. Panic dabbing. Rhiannon is dabbing, not Alzra. Alzra is not dabbing. Rhiannon is panic dabbing. <laughs> I don't know, but where does one begin and when does the other end? <laughs> what, what other currency is there, mortal? Mm. There is only so. one thing we trade in Avernus. Can I, can I kind of got that. I can get that. Um, uh, what, what can we say to help? Uh, would Juto know anything of, like... Make a religion oh, check, maybe? Diplomacy, <laughs> Yeah, make a religion check. Religion. So if it, this is like a what you know, you don't really know that... But first of all, these are... This is another plane. It's very 
you don't have any experience, really. 17. 17? I mean, when it said that they had no... It said that they you had no patron. Yeah. We would know you that. Heard, well, you heard that, yeah, like... First of all, Trelamar had a patron. That's what he made his pact with originally. But you've also heard of, like... The, the ruler, I'm sure that at some point you know that there is a ruler of Avernus, but also the different levels of hell have different rulers. Like there are, there are there's Asmodeus, who is the lord of all the hells, He's the big and then you have the, the arch devils who rule each layer of the hells, and there's nine of them. They're called the nine. Might be that they're referring to that, that you don't appear to be in the service of another devil. And so they're just like, oh yeah, we've got some fresh meat, boys. But would we, would saying like Asmodeus, would that be a bold claim? Like uh, that is up to you to decide. Uh, Alzer, can you make a strength check for me? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I believe we need a patron. Whoa, that's a free. I don't know anyone. Alzer is being dragged away. Eight, nine, 11. <laughs> the Alzer is being dragged away. The Bone Squad start pulling out weapons and like moving oh, towards this. Thing. I'm just like, I kind of like this, but also. Mm. <laughs> Come, come, I, oh. <laughs> Can yes, I go and yes. grab Alzra's other arm? Are you going to try and pull? Wait! <laughs> <laughs> yes. It just looks and it's like, you are, you dare much, she elf. <laughs> um, Unless you wish to join your friend in searching... In what? Sorry? In, sorry? Hmm? Hmm? Is he still speaking yeah, in my speaking head? He's speaking in your mind, yeah. Uh, your companion wishes to find someone. I am going to help. He's going to help, guys. He's going to help I don't me. believe you. Quick, quick question. <laughs> it just, this horrid clicking sound, which you can only assume is a laughter. From behind it, these two chained figures start moving towards Elora now. And they can, and like one of their chains, it starts. Did, when, when we spoke, when I spoke to Selvira, did Selvira know, no, she was looking for who owns Trelamar's contract, doesn't she, so. We don't know a name of Not yet, her. not yet, you don't. Okay. We don't. The only people that you've heard the name of is Zariel the, and uh, Kalisa, who is the devil the devil, the devil yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if, if, if I gave you my soul, could we go for it? Um, just immediately. Just, I wouldn't do that. I think that's off the cards. Is it off really? the cards? I mean, yeah. it sounds like you said that out but, loud. But if, say if, if I did that, what was what, what would happen if I did that? So you're, are you asking Is that re-asking? Asking? Is that, is that Alzra is that? asking? Or is that mm. Rhiannon asking Mark the Dungeon Master? <laughs> that's a very distinct difference. Uh, that involves a lot more clicking. It involves a lot more clicking. Can I have the clicky answer, please? So that's Alzra you want the in, You want the Alzra answer? I want the Alzra answer. So you ask, what would happen if I give you my soul? Yeah. And your demon's like, I can't trust you, so I'm not going to learn anything. Did you say that out loud? No. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen? We would strike a deal, you and I. Sounds good. You wish safe passage through a madness. But also, your dudes, can I have what they have? What? Just mm. the whole coolness. <laughs> you wish the powers of the hells. Mm. Grethic, the ice devil, is willing to make a deal with Alzra the Void Walker. Mm. <laughs> no I mean, souls. No souls. No, no souls. Not yet. Quiet. Never. Quiet, she elf. Let this one make their own decision. And it says in Infernal, grab her to the two chained creatures. Uh, do, do, do. Fuck, that's really bad. <laughs> Good. So I rolled two tens to hit you. Oh. So these chained creatures throw their chains, trying to wrap them around you. You kind of bring up your arm in one and kind of throw the chains off and then leap to the side as the other one kind of smashes down around you. Um, and you can see them kind of like, and then they begin raising their chains oh, I up. I will pull my bow out then. I didn't Let's roll realize. initiative! Fine. What? <clears throat> I thought I was just gonna what, say something. Realize? What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, I didn't realize you were so quick to want to die. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Cam Buckland still has no pants. Oh, yes! <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, I don't like the energy this music brings to Rhiannon. <laughs> Yes. I am at home! You just play this so music for a it. second and she's immediately... I'm um, giving up a salt. <laughs> salt. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Delicious. I'm... I like the first, like, devil as well. Yeah, at least give it to someone. I just put, I put your other character in. Power. Yeah, this is Greshik the nobody in the middle of some ship. Yeah, but he's got chains and stuff and he's cool. They'll be cooler. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. More hand cool. Um, yeah. So there I might have, I might have pulled right. out my trump card too early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just went to this first boy who looked at you. Like fucking. Have a salt. Oh no. Let's go, Marsh. I'll pour my salt to you. Take it, Elora. Oh, seventeen. Seventeen, Reynard. Twenty-three. Uh, Juto. Twenty-two. Cam. <laughs> seventeen. Alzra. Nine. Nine. You are all going before these things, Reynard. And Laura pulling her blow and these things like obviously failing to grab her, there is a confrontation about to happen. The Ice Devil still has its just claws on Alzra and is drag is at the moment it's just dragging her away. And the two chain devils are basically <laughs> focused Drag-a-way. on Laura. Guys, guys, my shoulder. Panic Dev. Uh I'll What would you like to do? Look at Greshik the Ice Boy, whatever he was called. Yeah. This say... big giant mantis man. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Take your hand off Alzra, or you lose it. <laughs> oh! I mean, he just said, I didn't know you wanted to die. <laughs> um, <laughs> make an intimidate check. Intimidate put this the at devil. A very <laughs> high the DC. I'm very high. Yep. Oh, good, he rolled a two. How does uh, intimidate? <laughs> How does seven sound? I say... <laughs> Take your hand off her and lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Just turns its icy glare towards you. Lol. That's it. I'll Nothing do, happens. I'll do like a hold action. If he continues to drag, I'll start. Okay. I'll so you, start you want to take a shot? Full of arrows. Okay. So you're going to attack if it continues dragging out or away. Okay. Juto. <laughs> Kim's like... I've, I've got one life, guys. I've, I've got one life here. I'm getting back on the boat. Bye. No, no the boat's gone. The boat is gone. It's taken devils down the river. It's yeah. literally... So imagine, for, to set the scene, you are on a thin, yeah. five by five, like, metal gangplank <laughs> in a course. line even with, like, Juto yeah. and Cam at the back, Reynard, Elora, <laughs> two Cheney boys in, on, the, on, the, on the deck <laughs> of the ship. And then Alzra behind the Cheney boys being dragged by the Ice Devil. We are literally not 15. I can't even remember his name, like Kratik or something, I thought I called him. Um, so you're at the back with Cam looking at this. The river Styx is behind you. It extends about 100 Hell feet. Hell is fast! There's, like, so there's nowhere to go. I will say... <laughs> in Inferno. <laughs> not in Inferno. Yep. Trump card. Um, I will say... We can talk of deals once you stop touching my companions. And then can I use thaumaturgy to make myself look more intimidating? Like, you know, make my voice boom, make my eyes glow. Sure. A little cute breeze to make sure. my hair just like whoosh. Still gonna be either an intimidator or a Whoa, hair's yeah. whooshing. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this amount. I would be scared if the hair wasn't whooshing. <laughs> <laughs> click, click, click. Come on. You would. You would if you could. <laughs> I'm only friends with still hair people. No. Fucking, I've never seen a worst hair before. Five. The chained <gasps> devils swallowing their chains. <sighs> you mortals are truly foolish. I know, aren't we just? <laughs> so far away. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> Classic mortal. <laughs> <laughs> it's here for the lols, guys. <laughs> anything, anything else? Can, can I ready an action or would you pass No, I'll let you ready an action. Um. The <laughs> thaumaturgy did nothing, so I didn't even yeah. consider it. Yeah. <laughs> you're in, you're in, just to, just to clarify, you are in hell. These are devils. We're not On their own plane, people. they're basically immortal. Uh, uh, like, why why couldn't we do these characters in Rogue's Gambit? Like. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not as fun. Um, that was fun. So, anything? anything? I'm already in action to um, attack him, like a, sp- a specific Well, he's, he's quite far away from you. Uh, okay. You've got you and Cam oh. at the back, Elora, Reynard, 
all in like a five foot gangway. So you've got 10 feet of your allies, two Cheney boys, behind them Alzra, and then the Ice Devil. So he's five, 10, I'll 15, attack a Cheney boy. 20, 25 if, feet. If, if, um, so you'll step forward and then attack if, a Cheney if, boy. If, 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 if one of the Cheney boys attacks any of us, okay, I will attack them. Okay, you're still going to struggle with the range because you got Reynard and Laura in front of you. Okay, so you want to try and like flip over them and attack at the same time. Yeah, I'll probably fall off. Right? Okay, so. no, yeah, I'm just just checking. I hate it when you do this, man. <laughs> uh, just checking, just checking how you want to die. What's your dexterity? I think Cam's is higher. <clears throat> plus three. Plus three. What's your Cam? What's your dex? Uh, plus three, I think. Yeah. You can go. If you want. Yeah, we'll have Cam go first and then Laura. Sixteen. Total. That's fine. Whatever. Cam. I'm gonna cast command. Okay. The second level. To On get who? Additional targets, so oh. level two. On both Cheney boys? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cheney boys. What's the command? Eight, uh, leave. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wisdom save to go and come back. 18. 18 to beat. <laughs> <laughs> so you say, so what do you do? Leave. <laughs> <laughs> they turn and leave. Yay! Hey! So what is it? I think it's like they use all their movement to like just walk Dirty. away. So they go 60 feet. They just turn and walk 60 feet down oh, the neck. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> we should uh, skedaddle quickly. The ice devil kind of look, where are you going? Ah. <laughs> Laura, anything else you'd like to do, Cam? Uh, I'm going to use the rest of my movement to start Start leaving. running. Yeah. So you just run onto the deck and then you've basically got left or right or you can go straight on. And it's like a big open market plaza. And you can see that there are these ramshackle <clears throat> steel and wood buildings and you can see like malformed humans, like mutant people, like with blankets we'll go towards of the most wear. humanoid looking things at a quick glance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you see um yeah, you see like a long haired, very well dressed man, um, who is apparently uh you can see him kind of stood just out in the plaza and he's kind of just looking around uh and looks to have like a little little shop or something. You're just gonna run straight for him. Yep. Okay, cool. So Cam runs off. Um, Elora. Yeah, I'm gonna follow Cam's lead and head towards the most human thing that we okay. can see and get away from the dock. Okay, as far so because you have your action still, you run up to Cam and you run and you see and this very handsome elven, but maybe half elf or something, he turns on you and you can see that he has, you know, uh, very well dressed and he kind of turns is like, well, hello. What are you doing? I don't know at the moment. Oh dear, actually. do you appear to be in some sort of danger, my dear? From that, that. And he looks over like, oh, an ice devil, very vicious. And that's all you have time for in your action. Alzra. Um, Icy boy's like. Yes. Oh, so he's still got me. Oh yeah, he's not let go yet. Okay. <laughs> can, can I, can I cast Mage Hand and try and like, Mage hand. Pull his hand it's off. Not I mean, it's got no Mage strength. Hand. It's not very strong. Oh, okay. it's not strong. I would, I would recommend that you'd be better off just trying to like throw his hand yeah, yeah. off or something. <laughs> just a teeny little, like, teeny little like, phantasm beep. hand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can do that if you want. It might work. I think can, you'd probably oh, just laugh. Or can I, can I get it to like tap on his other shoulder and then I can <laughs> distract yeah. it and then go, oh, I'm gonna slip. Yes. Wow. So you have a, you summon a ghostly mage hand <laughs> that taps on his shoulder. Yeah. Let's see, looks, let's see if he falls for I don't it. Run away. <laughs> He's pretty smart. Yep. He just, he like, the head doesn't even turn. His tail just bats the mage hand and oh. makes it vanish. It's just like. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> John, I don't really have a good feeling about our survivability odds here. <laughs> like, okay. Yes, ours. Hi. <laughs> Shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> you, you've become the new Cam Buckland. <laughs> no, there's like this there's, is just there's, there's just like it's, it's a weirdness, but it's less incompetence and more just yeah. like I'm a weirdo. Yeah, I want everything these guys have, right there. and I'm just like I want it, I want it. Okay, so I've done that. Mm. Can I, can I try and just make a strength check and try and Sure, yeah, absolutely. You can just make a strength check. Wriggle away. Mm, 
just your strength plus first. Plus one, nineteen. Nineteen. Surprisingly, with it, you suspect it's because he doesn't expect you to suddenly just pull yourself away. <laughs> But you yeah. rip yourself free of his clawed grip and it kind of scrapes along your armor, but you pull yourself free. <laughs> You're no longer being grappled. Run! Okay, so you just run in the direction of a luring yeah. hand. It's like, nah! And like you hear this kind of clawed hand. Um, does, he, does he make an opportunity attack? Mm. Tom Hazel. Hey, I want to shoot him twice. Uh, okay. He will attempt to grab her, so your thing will go off, but it's not necessarily an attack and attack. What's your AC? My AC is 18. 18. So he does manage to get a hand on you, yeah. uh, and kind of grabs your arm as you're running past, but then you hear this, <laughs> kathunk, kathunk. If I, I rolled, I was going yeah, to sharpshoot it. Yeah. I, sharp, I was going to sharpshoot it. Can I take sharpshoot or no? Yeah, you can take sharpshoot. Okay. As long cool. as you say before you roll. It was after I roll. <gasps> okay, well... No, um, sharpshoot then, before you roll. Right, thirty-one. Yeah, hits. Twenty-eight <laughs> hits. Sorry, I just hit my mic. Um, one d eight, and they both get thunder, don't they? Yep. <laughs> Nine plus six, so fifteen. Five plus six, eleven, so twenty-six. Dimaggio. Twenty-six. Dimaggio. Also, he's dead. Oh no! Oh, but shame. Kish! The bolts slam into the wrist, causing him to loosen his grip. So where he had a grip on you, the damage was enough that he kind of loses his concentration and then his, his mantis <laughs> head is like, and you hear this screech in your mind. Ow. You die, you miserable cretin. Rush, that's, your name changed. <laughs> uh, that's your, so that's your reaction for your uh, hold, held action, yes? Yeah. The two two devils that have run about 60 feet away sort of just seem to like come to their senses, turn around and just basically <laughs> spend the whole turn running back like towards it. Well, don't they uh, take their turn to follow the action though? No, it's, it happens once and then on their start of their next turn, that, that's it. Because oh. I basically had them run away instead of waiting a whole turn. Yeah, yeah. So technically they should have waited till their turn, then ran away. I see. But it was more cinematic to have them just leave and yeah. now on their turn they're just going to run I back. I just was making sure they weren't doing like a hundred. They still, they still waste the round because they've run and then they're running back, okay. basically. Um, but the, the iced creature, uh, seeing you've struck it, right? These guys are running away from it, you've struck it. Ooh. You made him, you made him angry. It basically, it will barrel towards you with this pronged spear just Oh, where did you get that? <laughs> Try and stab you up. So that's going to be a 28 to hit and an 18 to hit. Yeah, both. Uh, both hit, and then, oh, it will also try and swipe you with its tail. Will it? Uh, 28 to hit. Yeah, yeah, that does too. Okay, so from the first attack, Glad you're going to take... Glad we can make a deal. <laughs> so from the first spear jab, 22 damage, 20. 10 of which is cold. Do you have any resistance to cold? No. Okay. Uh, the second spear jab... 22 cold damage, uh, another, 22 damage. Another 22, or... And then the tail hit is uh, <laughs> another 22 damage, actually. Another 22, that's just perfect. 66 damage, that's yeah. incredible. It's happening every single day. <laughs> yeah. He does this every time. So the two spear jabs kind of boom, boom, slam into the armor. You kind of feel that's bones crunch. And then the tail slaps you around the face, oh, leaving a cold kind of scarred brand. Um, <laughs> that's I soft. shall flay the skin from your flesh. Oh, okay. Uh, at the top of the round. How about my soul? Why not? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you run, boy. Oh, actually, it hit me, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It's giant. Or is it large? Um, you use, technically use your reaction when you hold, hold an action. Oh, do you? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Don't you have, like, defense against opportunity attacks or something? Uh... I think I, I probably did. Um, okay, sure. Well, you got six seconds. What are you doing? Uh, uh, uh. I fucking love it. Hmm. This is great. Sid's hmm. doing a great job on the soundtrack. This is so I love good. it. Um, Hell. As Tom desperately scrolls through his character. <laughs> right. I want to. I want to. I guess yeah, go through it or past so it. Try and run past it. Yeah, I do. It does have disadvantage on okay. the attack. Uh, that is only a fifteen. No. <laughs> All right, I um, dive through 
and then bolt to catch sure. up with the other guy. Yeah. So it's like hissing. It's like. Ah, I made it angry. I made it angry. I shot it twice. I made it angry. So you basically spend your action to dash, right? So you run I past it. I spend my action to yell that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Well, you run. Come to help. Juto, uh, you are now the only one. Like everyone else is on the other side of this thing. Everyone, and then you're on the gangway still. Like, oh. <laughs> Just, but it is facing away from you. It's it's focused entirely on Reynard. I'd it has been like it has been away. angered. I'd like to run away. All right? Um, How are you going to get past this thing? Can I use Step of the Wind, please? Sure. What's that do? Um, it it uh, means bonus action disengage or dash, and my jump distance is doubled. Okay, so you're in a bonus action disengage, and then you just run just past run, it. Basically, yeah. you slide under its legs, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. And just run, and then I guess I can run what the well, I can jump. Well, you can jump over it if my you want. jump distance is doubled, I can technically jump. If my walking speed is 55 feet, yep. what's my jump? Jumping is different. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of annoying. So a long jump is, if you move 10 feet minimum and jump, you jump a number of feet up to your strength score. So what's your strength score? Yeah. Uh, minus one. What's the score though? Is it nine? Eight. Eight. So you can jump 16 feet. So 32. With yeah, I'm just yeah. going to run. Oh, no, wow. 16 feet is... Um, is is it and then doubled it? We're, Sixteen is doubled. Yeah. So, so I can so jump fifty-five. So you can jump so. over it or slide under it, whatever. Yeah. Okay. And then and then just catch up with the rest. Yeah. Well, because yeah, you've got I can loads of and dash and Yeah. Where do you want to go? <laughs> I get. Um, do I see where? Yeah, yeah. yeah you see. Yeah. yeah. You can see Laura is talking to this very handsome. I will go there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You run up to Alora. Um, Cam Buckland. Reynard has angered it. I'll say. Cam Buckland. Uh, very yes, angry. That. Really want to see what's in your store real quick, if that's okay. Uh, we're all really good paying customers. He looks, sees you're clearly with the elven woman who just basically said, help with this thing. Oh, I see that you're also having trouble. I've also just run up yelling, I've angered it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's like, of course, of course, step into my way. Step, step in, come in, come in. Have you got any um, trousers? I, we can find something. Of course, come in, come in. You should, uh, you. Everybody here yeah, holds up a hand. Like, come in. Thanks. <laughs> Inside check. Uh, it's your turn. Would you like to? What would you like to do? Inside check. <laughs> sure. Oh, plus he's seven. evil. I mean, really? I mean, we're in hell. Everyone. Twenty-eight. Uh, you suspect that this is is definitely not a humanoid person. Um, it is most likely a devil, and we're in danger. It's certainly. <laughs> There is, there will be some sort of catch to this. You are almost certain. Yep. Uh, I don't think we should do that. I think we should just take care of this. Let me roll initiative for this guy. I mean, where else are we gonna, everyone's gonna be like this. Uh, we don't need to add another one to the list. Okay, so he's going at seven. Cool. Okay. His dex is higher, so we'll have him go. Is it like a, is it a shop that he's getting? He has like a small um, establishment. You can see it's kind of constructed from like ramshackle wooden iron, but inside there appear to be shelves um, with various weird things. Um, and Cam's already gone in. So it looks like, yeah, Cam stepped oh, for inside. God's sake. <laughs> Cam stepped inside. <laughs> yep, for sure. Nice what would you like to do, Laura? How far away is the dude, the main duty? Not What's far, it? like 30 feet, 40 feet. And the chain devils are also pretty much next to it. <laughs> What's the plan? Six seconds. What'd you do? <sighs> oh God, I don't know what to do. Okay, so you're delaying your turn. Um, can I delay my turn until after? Sure. Oh, you delay until it after. Again. Wait, who's... I thought you delayed it till the end, didn't you? No, you can, you can... Yeah, you basically, you would go last in the initiative, yeah. Yeah, yeah can I do that? You can, but you can hold an action. If you want to hold an action, like, I'll step inside if this happens, or I'll do this, I'll cast this, I'll but you ready. I'll step inside if the other guys step inside. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, Alzra? Um... Oh, sorry, Juto, you should have gone as well. Yeah. I used my turn to run up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right, because Rain... Run away. Yeah, Alzra. Yeah. Um... So you see Cam step inside this... Shop of this very charming looking man. I'm gonna very stay, handsome. I'm gonna stay outside. No, I'm not gonna, go, I'm in gonna go inside the shop. You're gonna stay outside? Mm. Okay. 
I just realized. Anything you, what would you like to do instead? Uh, you can see the ice devil is me. is chasing after oh, Reynard. The chain creatures are like beelining for you and Alora. Um, I've got a really loud metal thing. I'm in danger. I'm in so much danger. Yeah, I saw you being initiative. No, my attack was on the chain devil. Um, I got an initiative here. I'm all right. What would you like to do? Um, <laughs> devils and stuff. I'm just uh, trying to place where Juto is. Yeah. In um, Juto's I'm there. next. I'm next to you. She's, she's I'm next to you. Sure. But she's but just arrived. Yeah, she's just arrived. She's taken her turn. Same as same as me. Okay. Um, I if... should probably do a different initiative system. I'm thinking of like handing out cards of being like, right, who's got what initiative? Okay, Tom, you're going to be first. Katie second. I'm taking three and four. Kim's five. Blah blah blah. I was second. Yeah, but I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying for I know. example. What are you doing, Alistair? I'm staying outside, but if and the guys, and we're ready in action, if the devil guys come within 60 feet, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame at them. They already okay. are within 60 feet. Are they already there? Are yeah, they, well, do you, do you mean if they come next if to you to come make next, an attack? If, if they come yeah, next. Yeah, they're still about 30 feet away from you at this point. Then I'll already okay. use Sacred Flame for them. Okay, perfect. Uh, the very charm, the very charming, handsome fellow is like, oh, what's wrong, my dear? Can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? What kind of an effect is it? Charm, so you have advantage, because you're an elf. Um, 25. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His honeyed words and eyes kind of flare, and you feel a charming presence try and take hold, but it doesn't affect you. No! <laughs> What's wrong? Your friend is already inside. Can go! I haven't got any trousers yet. <laughs> How much trousers? Oh, well, he kind of like turns to you, he's like, very well, turns in, well, and he kind of puts an arm around you, Cam, and he's like, well, we have hey, buddy. various things. Uh, I have numerous trinkets, trousers, you say? Yeah. Yes, we can, we can procure that. Uh, and he, he claps his hands, and this fat, bloated, little red creature just poofs out of air with these tiny little bat wings. Oh my god. Oh, uh, one thing. Yes. It's a big creature out there that's gonna just ruin your store. He won't come in here. Oh, great. Everyone come on inside. Uh, and he gestures, he gestures to the little creature. And he's just like, uh, trousers, please. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> and it just disappears. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're quite useful imps, I Is it a pocket you. dimension or a... No, no, he can do this. It's very, very useful. Wow. I send them, I send them to my bidding in the morning. My radiant... God can do things like that for me. Not here, they can't. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, <laughs> His turn just took like 25 seconds. Elora and uh, Alzra. DM's discretion. It's like, he, it's because they're not in any real threat. Yeah. That's I why. wasted my turn, I should have readied an action. You can still, I'll, you can still ready an action. What do you want to ready an action? Oh, you said that if the rest of them go in, that was your turn. You said if the rest of them go in, I'll go in. Yeah. No, I wasted it. Yeah. Uh, so, Alzra and uh, Elora. Highest to hit on one of those is a 23 Elora. Does that hit? Clearly. Uh, so you're going to take 11 slashing damage and you are grappled as a chain wraps around you. And Alzra, that is also a 23. Yeah. Uh, 11 slashing damage mm. and a chain wraps around you and you are grappled. Wee! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this feels good. <laughs> uh, Reynard, the Ice Devil chases after you. Does he? Oh, oh, does my, does my um, Sacred Flame Oh yes, off? you can make your Sacred Flame. Yes! yes. Uh, 2d8. Uh, do I get a saving 17 throw? saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, fail. Mm -hmm. Yes! This is fun. Seven. I'm having fun. That's a d10. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep that one. Keep that one. I want demons. Yeah, here we go. Blah! And this is against the Chaney Boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chaney Boys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Do I get my spell attack mod on that one nope. as well? No, okay. Just 2d8 damage. That's a four. Four damage, <laughs> nice. So this kind of bolt of flame <laughs> kind of hits one of the chain creatures in the face and it just kind of winces. And then it I'm chain sorry. wraps around you. Reynard. I am a worm. You ran to the rest of the group, right? Yeah. Um, then you get an extra three. Oh. It does free. Oh, hang on. And what does it say? 2d8? It says cast at will 3d8 damage, but then it says the spell's damage increases by 1d8 when you reach 5th mm. level, 2d8. What? Just roll, roll, roll an extra d8. Yeah, 11th level to get 3d8. I'm confused. 
Seven. 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 Nice. Yeah. So eleven, 11 damage. Hey. Nice. Um, in front of you, Reynard, <laughs> a <laughs> wall of ice. Um, oh no, sorry. This I can make it into a, a hemispherical dome. Oh, uh, perfect. Lovely. Uh, it erupts, uh, trapping you from the rest of the team as this devil. Oh, it's behind me. It's like. Yeah, it kind of like erupts in front of you and then shapes You're upwards, blocking you from the rest of the well, team. Well, this is perfectly hemispherical. Do you want to try that one again? No. no. <laughs> and it just stands in front of you. That's his action, so it doesn't get to do anything else this time. He did. Uh, your go. Bye. So. <laughs> so Bye, Felicia. So imagine you've got the like dome a dome, behind like, me. yeah, like a big dome of ice all behind you and up and over you, and the only opening this thing is and stood is in the front door. Of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when does my black half blade recharge? Dawn, I believe. There's no dawn here. Is there seriously? <laughs> <no dawn? laughs> there is a dawn. You all don't right. know when it is. <laughs> um. <laughs> Such a shit. <laughs> if I were to, <laughs> yeah. I love high levels. <laughs> if I were to shoot it, would that put it off balance so that I could then get? I get decent range anyway. Yeah. Cool though. It'd be cool. Yeah. I'm sure. gonna slide through its legs and shoot it in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. You make your attack rolls, and then I'll do my disadvantage attack opportunity. And I'm sharpshooter in each ball. <laughs> 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 I technically rolled a zero on this with minus five. So 13 on one and that's, that misses. Uh, seven plus 13, so 20. On the one other. still hits, one, one hits, and you still get sharp zero on it. Which ball? Left. <laughs> it doesn't have, this thing does not have balls. Well, oh. it doesn't now. Um, 11 plus 10, so 21 on that one. 21. Sure. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> My math is good. <laughs> My math is pure. Um, you streak under, bam, the first bolt like connects and it, the thunderous explosion kind of hits its carapace. The second one you just miss time and kind of it hits the roof of the dome, but then you go to slide underneath its legs. Uh, well, that's pretty bad. That's only a 15. No. Goes to strike down as you like under its oh, legs. <laughs> under its um, legs, and I'm then gonna. You're on the other side. Do a total U turn. <laughs> <laughs> You've only got a little bit of movement, so you start making your way around, but this thing like whirls around like, no! <laughs> uh, as it's chasing after you. I'm just gonna run around this hemisphere. <laughs> Juto. I mean, at least it's between you and it now. Juto. <laughs> You watch Cam go into this into this shop with this man, but God. and then uh, Elora <laughs> and Alza have been wrapped up in chains by these two creatures. Oh, they're wrapped up in chains. Okay. Yeah, they're grappled. <laughs> Am I at the like entrance of the shop? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, force damage. Okay, can I go into? Mm. Yeah, can I go into void stance? Yes. And so you adopt uh, a zen-like stance. This is a custom monk thing, if you're not familiar with uh, the character. Um, and can I attack the chains? Because I do get- Do extra damage against extra, them. Extra, it's yep. uh, times two damage. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you kind of attack the two chains that are holding. Um, considering Break you went chains. into void stance, that's two key points, by the way, to enter the stance. Um, I mean, roll, roll an attack roll, just to see. Don't worry about damage. Because um, I know that your base damage is going to be enough to break the chains with the Guandao, especially. Oh, two 14s plus yeah. 12 is. Easily enough. With one strike, the chain holding Alzra, next strike, chain holding Elora, you guys are no longer grappled. Like, Ooh. Juto, spoosh, spoosh, as the chains break, uh, the chain devils kind of recoil. And kind then, of a little sad about that. Can I, no, because I've probably. Yeah, you've still got movement. Yeah, can I go into the shop? Yes, just be like, shop. I suggest we seek sanctuary. Are you suggesting them? I'm not. Su I'm not suggesting. Okay. I'm just being. But you, so. but you kind of like step into the thing, kind of watching the. Uh, thing. <laughs> just so into the void. You glide backwards. <laughs> uh, oh, glide backwards. Backwards, middle fingers raised. Um, yeah, the, in six <laughs> seconds, not much really happens. The conversation you were having, where he summoned his imp, is still kind of taking place. Um, you kind of hear this commotion happening behind you, uh, but the devil is just uh, sort of. He, well, the, the man uh, turns to you and is just sort of. Uh, so, what brings you to Avernus? Oh, just, you know, souls and stuff. Yes, they're very, 
very common oh, around here. Very profitable. Oh, I'm, I'm, yes, very much so. I'm assuming that you don't have uh, any souls to pay with. No. Oh, that's fine. We can work something out. Yeah, I could do. I could go like kill a demon for you or something. Yep. Do you know what? That's funny. You should mention that. That's kind of what I was thinking. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I'm my special. My master Lorcan. I know of him. Do have you heard of him? Great. He's quite demon. famous. He's quite famous. Yeah. Devil. Great devil. He puts a he puts a hand and he whispers, "Oh my friend, you don't want to make that mistake around here." Can you demon. make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to do his turn now. It's cause... plus ten. Fifteen. Just. Oh! As he's speaking, like you feel this kind of like magic kind of drift over you and try and seize hold of you. But does he know that it fails? Can I pretend? I think he does. Yeah. I think this is a unique thing with him is that he can. He knows when it doesn't work. Oh, nice try. He's like, well, I have to try. Yeah, you do. I do have to try. Yeah. Um, very well. Uh, ne next turn, Elora. <laughs> can I see Reynard from where I am? <laughs> you see a dome suddenly appear in front of you. You hear a bah! and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you catch just a tiny glimpse between the dome and the building. Reynard's like ginger hair, like Wah! I'm running around it. Yeah. <laughs> Heel on Reynard. Yeah. Oh. Point. Nice. 70 hit points. 70, I'll do what that level's one that? at a time. Six, six level. <laughs> and is it range? Do you have to touch him? Six feet. Stop it. Nice. Stop so it. Get... <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to do any movement? Click or something. Um, so you kind of snap your fingers or gesture your hand. You watch as uh, Reynard's wounds heal up. Is he coming towards us then as well? Yeah. From what oh. you can tell, he's about to run around the dome. That's what you see immediately. Juto has now stepped into the shop. Yeah, Juto so stepped step into in. the shop. Okay, you step into the shop as well. Okay. Uh, Alzra. Uh, can I cast Blindness and Deafness on the dude chasing Reynard? Sure. Tell me, what do I, what do I need to do? Con 17. Oh, he's pretty good at these. 18. Ah, uh, just... Kind of try and reach up, cloud his vision in inky blackness, but the Mantis still just seems to be able to locate him anyway. Ding. Um, yeah, doesn't seem to affect him. He okay. doesn't seem to need his eyes to see. Okay. Would you like to do anything movement-wise? Uh, you watch your Laura step into this shop, this curiosity shop. Um, I'm probably just gonna slink, slink backwards into the shop. Okay. Just so you, like you enter the shop as well. Slowly just so slink. now the only one not in the shop is Reynard. <laughs> I'm gonna be that guy again. Finger guns. I think you were next to the chain bros, weren't you? Yes, oh, that's yes. true. In fact, both of you would have had to attacks of opportunity made against you. Take, I take back my heel. You can't yeah. take back your heel. I'm just saying, someone's gonna say it. Uh, you, they definitely both hit you, take another 11 slashing damage. Thanks, Tom, <laughs> you but it prick. does not grapple you. I just realized I broke two chains you with chain two, breaker. Chain breaker. Stick it to my neck. You, still take 11, you took 11 damage. I broke chains. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so okay. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the handsome man has already taken his turn. Uh, the two chain devils, sensing you guys step into the shop, they like, they kind of, they're lingering on the edge of it. And then they just kind of like look at each other. And then they just step back, fold their arms <laughs> in front of the entrance to it. <laughs> and they're waiting. Yes. Um, the ice devil is going to chase after Reynard. Uh, let's see if its wall of ice regenerates. It doesn't. Uh, so this time it's just going to try and like... Wait, the wall's gone? Yeah. No, the wall's still there, but it, he doesn't have the ability to create another one. Oh, I see. He was going to try and create another one and just block you in again. Oh my god. He's going to make a Venn diagram of ice devils. <laughs> With you in the middle. 15 to hit? No. Uh, no. A 14 to hit? No. A 21 to hit? Yes. So that you take another 22 points of damage <laughs> as his tail catches you on the arm, bam, <laughs> slams you into the building. Okay. You carry on, you stumble on. Reaction Real shot, sharpshooter! Yes. That was shit. That was trash. Yeah, no, I don't think either hit. Nope. I think one of them's a 15. Well, it's only one when you get an attack with Genie, I think. You don't make two attacks. Okay, I'll take the highest one. 15. <laughs> 15? Not enough. Okay. Bounces off his carapace. Uh, your turn. Mm. Um, I'll just <laughs> jump backwards again and try and avoid these. I can, I'll disengage. I mean, you ran past him, right? So you're now out on the deck in the plaza again. Yeah. So he only comes at a dome behind you. Like, it kind of created this wide dome. You ran underneath him. And then around so you're now on the deck of the ship and in then this around open the back plaza. Of the dome. So, then, so you can see the shop entrance. 
Uh, yeah, but there's two chain, chain devils now stood in front of it. And if I disengage, can I make it to the Yeah, you can, you can just like disengage to get past them. That's, okay. your, that's your whole turn. Then. I'll disengage. Yep. Say, I'm just going to go in there. Do you want anything? And then run. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of like, they're like looking in the store. They turn around, but by that point, you've already dashed past them. <laughs> and they're like trying to get their whip, like their chains out as you kind of skid to a halt. The ice devil would drop out of initiative now. The ice devil kind of looms up behind um, and it looks in. Ah, you weasel. And it's talking to the man that's kind of holding you now, like, Do you wish to protect these mortals? They have no patron. It will not be long before they are prey. Oh, my dear Kresik. You're not allowed in here, you know that. <laughs> Kresik has another name. Oh, he has many names. <laughs> oh my God, He's dude. always conjuring them. Hello, by the way. Oh, hi. Can you make a wisdom saving throw for me, please? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Hold on the edge of the dice tray. <laughs> I believe I owe you one of these, a fun coin. A fun that coin? That gives you inspiration when you want to use it. Oh, how come? Because you've rolled like three failed checks in a row. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, well, this is a pass, by the way. Oh, it's a pass. Give yeah, me back. so yeah. 21. Oh, I thought you rolled that. You made the action that was really bad. No, I rolled no, it. No, it's just he rolled it, he rolled look, it look, there. Look, it is. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. It's on the edge of the dice tray. It like bounced out and went boop. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, again, you feel this kind of wash of, of magic, but it doesn't seem to take effect. He, he kind of, you can see this man is like... <sighs> can well, you please you all... stop that? I, it's in my nature, I know, but dear. please. Uh, Juto, can you make a wisdom saving throw as well? <laughs> Quickly looking at something. And we'll see if this works, and if this fails, Alfred, you're making a wisdom saving throw. 18, 19, 20, 20, Yep, make a wisdom saving throw, please. Yeah. Yeah. How rude. Oh, yes, I might have one. 15, 16. 16, no! Yeah. He's just like, oh, well, you're all infuriating me well-willed. Uh, well, hello, I suppose. Welcome to my little establishment. What Hang on, was going... it, a it was a saving throw, wasn't it? It was a saving throw. Okay, cool. What were you going to do if you did manage to... Um... Oh, I just, you know, it helps, it helps improve relations. I mean, you're stopping those things from getting in here. I am. This is good relations. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, by the uh, way. The charm does make it, oh my dear, you don't need to thank me. In fact, I would recommend that you don't need to thank anyone here. Nobody's doing anything out of the kindness of their own hearts. I, I, I think we're, I'm, oh, well, hang on. Blap's coming. <coughs> Poof. Ah! And you see this man is holding oh. this pair of like purple velour trousers. Um, and he's whole and he's like, ah, well, greetings, master. I have found the trousers. Here you go, mortal. Free of charge. No, no deals. You can just, uh, just take the Nothing's trousers. free here. No, I give you my word. Nothing the trousers are free. It would dampen any future trades if I just kept this out, right? Um, no, it's it's quite impressive, quite honestly. Uh, I'm, I tie I'm the, honestly impressed. I'm going to tie the trousers around my neck then. Oh, yes, yes, you can keep them. Why? <laughs> they're, they're your trousers. Do with them as you wish. Mm. Cam, please Thank put the you. trousers on. Where? I have. Put them, put them on, on your... Oh, I mean, I'm not going to tell you to do it. He's, he keeps button. glancing down. Mm. Mm. Please put the trousers on properly. This could help our relationship. I don't think it's going to help. It definitely does. It's not going to help. It's convincing. It's not, not going to help. <laughs> Where did you Not go? often I see mortals with such an impressive weapon. <coughs> I'm blessed. <laughs> Avanger. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, you can't be too perfect, I suppose. <laughs> Think about that. Think about it. So. Kim's gone. Welcome to my little establishment. Um, do you require anything? Refreshments? Well. No. Um, no? Quick, quick, no, well. quick Why question. Why are these refusing to come in? Oh. Oh, well, oh, you mortals. I, you know, I, I've given the trousers for free. I really, I'll tell you what, how about we play a game of, you ask a question, I answer a question. Oh. We promise to tell the truth. Well, yeah. Deal? Mm. Can, can I ask a quick, quick Kim, Kim question? Sure. So I've got true sight because Void Stance. Yeah, you do. It's still on. So. <laughs> you don't see what the others see. You see, he is still humanoid, very elegant, like incredibly beautiful. But now you see a pair of curved horns emerging from his head, a pair of large demonic wings, and a red tail coming out from uh, his rear. Okay. Curved horns. 
And there's, but then there's no other invisible... Uh, there is one other imp which is sat on the counter picking its nose. And then there's the one which is currently like flapping next to Cam. Good trousers, yes? Fantastic. Ah, Blap did good. You did great. Thanks. Have you got any wine? You want wine? Yeah. Yes, yes, we should have a drink. Celebrate the new partnership. Blip. And the invisible Blip, one on flat. the counter, Love there it. is like another little and this other fat, this one's like more of a dark gray. It's like, hey, what do you want, boys? <laughs> Uh, would you mind fetching fetching a drink for the mortals? Would you mind? Also, you know what? I'll have a glass. I'll have a glass. Treat too. yourself. Why not, eh? Mm. Why not? Uh, glasses, wine, please. Uh, you got it, boss. I'll be back soon. Disappears. No. It makes the sound of a, of a can opening. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty savvy. You are very clearly. As I'm Otherwise, you wouldn't have come into the shop. The we're talking. Very smart of you to realize that you would be safe in here. Absolutely. Mm. So, Intelligent man. I know we're not going to get out of here without some sort of deal being. You really are. You're very <laughs> savvy. Very smart. Mm. So, let's just cut right to the chase, shall we? Mm. So, you want a demon killed <laughs> for their soul? Well, it's... demons don't have souls. And first of all, stop calling them demons. We're devils. Your Any devils. Can you not see his... All right, I'll give you this one for free. I'll give you this one for free. You have devils and you have demons. Yeah, yeah, you're devil. Yeah. You want us to kill demons. Well, a lot of my kind do, but sometimes we might want another devil to have an accident or their plans to go awry or... Like fall on the side? Well, you see, we can't really die. If we die here, we simply reform several days later, take some time, but we don't really die. What can happen, though, is devils can be demoted. If they earn Asmodeus's disfavor, or Zariel's here on Avernus, they could be demoted into a lesser devil. Hmm. This means you lose some station, some power, and perhaps there are some rivals that a devil might want to see demoted. So what I'm sort of gauging from what you're saying is, you want us, and correct me if I'm wrong, you want us to sabotage a devil. Possibly. So but really, I would need to know what you're really looking for. I mean, and you just want safe passage out of my shop, or? That's all we want. Safe passage no. through the entire ironclad. It's doable, it's doable. It's a bit more of an ask than I expected. Is it just a little further than your storefront, right? Mm. No, no, the ironclad is much larger. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you wait here for a minute, drink the wine, enjoy yourselves. I'm going to have a little chat with uh, uh, a fellow that I work with. Where are my manners? I'm <laughs> Cam Buckland. Oh, I don't need to. Not Great. yet. That's very rude. Not yet. Fine. Uh, but let me have a go and have a chat with a friend of mine first. Then, then we'll talk. Hmm? It's not blat or blah, is it? It's not blip or blap, no. Blip or no, blap. They are quite literally just subservient imps. And I literally use them to go and fetch things because I can't be bothered. And you did a great job. I'm looking at blat. <laughs> <laughs> I just gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> he kind of moves over and you see him move to the back of his room where there is a large brass mirror, kind of like a large brass standing mirror. Um, and he brings up a ring on his finger, whoosh, blows through it, and then steps through the mirror. That's cool. That's really cool. You see that? I want that. Can um, we get that? We can take that. Can I take that? He's not here. <laughs> hey, I got your wine here. I didn't know if you, I don't know what's good and what's bad. How many wine bottles has he got? He's got like three, he's like holding. Where did you get all this from? Stole it. From? Somewhere. Someone? Mm, maybe. I'm guessing somebody owned it. Anybody get hurt? No. Perfect. Are you kidding? You mortals are always killing him like me. I don't, I don't give you no trouble. I'm just getting stuff. Just making just sure, just making sure. I ain't got no glasses, so I don't know, share or something. <laughs> oh, all right. Anything else? Um, what do you get? You guys new to Avernus? Ah, 
Yeah, yes. have you got any brochures or anything? Oh, yeah, yeah, me and, uh, me and Blap, we run a little, uh, Welcome to Avernus Club. Uh, we got pamphlets, you want a pamphlet? I mean, yes, sure. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kind of, his little wings flap, and he goes over to a little wire rack, like a little rotating <laughs> wire rack, which oh has been God, tucked and hidden sweet. behind a corner. And on it, there are these scraps of paper with really crude drawings, which is welcome to the number Avernus. <laughs> and he yes. picks one up and he like flaps over. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think of us as sort of um, tour guides, right? We'll take you out, you see the sights. Oh, we're looking for, uh, you know, we want to go to the, the pit of despair. We want to see Tiamat's prison. Whoa, crazy. Yeah. I want to see all of it. What if we wanted to see Sure, some... sure, huh? we'll take you, right, Blip? Yeah, we'll take you, yeah, we'll go. Yeah, man, I've really wanted to meet like demon princes, things like that. That would be amazing. Oh no, listen, man, you you got uh, I don't got bring up the de that. the demon word here. Even, even, see, see, even they're saying. Uh, hey, bosses, no hey, you wanna you wanna swig? Oh yeah, give me some of that. Yeah, no <laughs> he just the whole thing. No, he's just gone. <laughs> it's like, Whoa. Oh man. Oh, I love your mortal wine. It's so good. Oh, the boss never lets me drink though. I get real pukey. Oh. 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 Yep. Oh. Yeah. How long will that take? Oh, a couple of years. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. Well, you touch just <laughs> seems weird. <laughs> yeah, look at me. <laughs> he holds out this big, distended, bloated stomach, and he's only he's like a baby high. He looks like a deformed, weird devil baby. Man, I wish it took two years for me to throw up. Yeah. It's bad, real bad. Anyway, um, your boss, right? Yeah. He must treat you pretty bad. Nah, he's all right. He's an all right guy. Yeah? Yeah, it's way worse. You know, imps like me, we get bullied around a lot, right? There's some real nasty customers around here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, Some of the devils are real bad. What about for uh, mortals like us? Oh, they're all bad. Oh, you mortals, you're so funny and you're so stupid. I... Why are you even here? That's a terrible idea. I mean, see the sights. He's got a point. I've heard good things about this place. Why are you even here? You just want to see around? You want to look around? Man, you came to the wrong spot. Well, I mean, I guess you didn't go to the gate. That's a real bad idea, you know? Well, Zariel's got some cre She's got like Baylors and or Pit Fiends. I can never remember which one, but they're God in that place. You don't want to trouble with them, oh no. What's Zariel's no deal? Zariel? What's her deal? Zariel the Fallen? Oh. You don't know? <sighs> Give me the deets. Oh, man. All right, so long story, she was a celestial, right? She was an angel. Cool. And she was the guardian city of a, some sort of city in the mortal realm or something, right? And then something happened and they betrayed her and then she fell. She became a devil, right? She came down to the hells and Asmodeus was like, hey, you want to work for me? And she was like, yeah, I'll work for you. So she's, he's like, all right. And then she goes all like molten and skin burn off and flame wings and... She's cool, right? She sounds and then, amazing. And then she was the Lord of Avernus, but then Bell, who was like her like second in command, he was like a powerful general. He betrayed her and took over Avernus, and then he locked her up in a place called the Iron Tower. And then they kept a the prisoner there, siphoning off her power. But then Asmodeus became a god. And he and Bell, he screwed up real bad. The demons invaded, the blood war was really bad. Oh, sounds so, nasty. So Asmodeus, right, he's like, hey. Listen, you, you screwed up big time, so guess what? Zariel's back in charge, and you're gonna be her second in command, and you're gonna you're gonna be below her. <laughs> uh, Poor old Belle, what a sucker, right? Yeah. And so, and now, she's got some sort of crate. We don't know what it is, but she's mustering loads of forces. And two of the demon lords, they're trying to get her, because she did something to them or something, I don't know. But now you got Baphomet and Yinogu, they're all here trying to trying to invade. So there's demons everywhere. So the general of this place, right, the Ironclad, and he's just blah, blah, blah. Uh. The general of this place, the Ironclad, he's a, he's a, he's an Abishai, right? They're like dragon devils. And he commands oh. this whole place. And man, he's getting the Legion all fired up because they gotta go and fight out in the war. Oh, it's real bad. It looks bad. I probably shouldn't tell you all this. Oh well. Must be the it's wine, interesting. Hey? Yeah, probably. I have a terrible headache. <laughs> uh, I guess, can I, can I just look out the door? Yeah, they're still there. <laughs> We're gonna be in like three years. We could, we could just like fight our way. Perfect. Just wondering, just making sure. 
Okay. We can just close the door. It. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, there's no door. It's like an open fronted building. All oh, right. That's why they're just watching. I mime it. <laughs> just pretend closing a door. Yeah. I think <coughs> if there's some sort of, you know, alternate exit, I'm whispering this. Well, we should probably take things. that. We, we can go through the mirror. Punch, punch, punch. I'm going to try and walk through the mirror. Bonk. Oh. That doesn't work. It's worth right. a try. Is there oh, you need, you need the mess, this magic ring. Uh huh. I'll try again. Okay. Where does it take? <laughs> where, where does it take him? <laughs> Wherever he wants to go. Really? Yeah. Do you know who he's gone to talk to now? He's gone to see Master. I probably shouldn't tell you that. Come on. All oh, right. Yeah, he's gone to see. Uh, he's gone to see Lorcan. He's a Cambian. Does a lot of deals with mortals. Makes uh, what do you call them? Warlocks. Right. But Gives them power. Interesting. Mm. But uh, the um, your mom. Any of you guys want to be a warlock? Uh, we just no, know. We, we, we know one though. Oh yeah, you got you mortals. You're all, you crazy mortals. Loads of you always making deals. Yeah. So many warlocks. They're everywhere these days. Are they? Cool. Where does your master He's... factor into meeting Lorca if he deals with mortals? Oh, Lorca's a Cambian, and uh, he's the he's the son of. Uh, Somebody, oh, what's her name? I can't remember. Inva, Invada, in, in, Invada, she's like a big deal back down on Kenya. It's one of the other levels of hell. Oh, right, okay. Is that below this one? Yeah. How far down? Pretty far down. I don't know, I st I've always been here on a bonus. Oh. I ain't never gone below here. Ooh. Would you? No, are you crazy? <laughs> They're crazy down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how many levels are there? Nine. What about the third level? How crazy are they? Crazy. Man, what about the fourth level? Even crazier. Really? Does it get to Don't. a point where it just reverses around and they're nope. normal? Oh, okay. Nope. Worse. Even crazier? Yep. I think I'm getting somewhere. I'm just smushed up against the mirror. Keep trying. Keep trying. You're doing really well. So, thanks. Who would Silvera contact? Probably Juto, because you were the last person that spoke to the tiefling back in. Arak, in your mind, oh, great. you hear the voice <laughs> of the tiefling woman that sent you here, basically. Uh, Silvera Sikas, the one who actually sent you to the place. You hear the following. Limited message, information gained. Trelamar's soul given to Zariel. <laughs> Unlikely she still holds. Options, find Lulu the Holyphant. Find the ledgers of Zalan Rune Scourge. Slower. Selvira. Well, you can reply in 25 words, and I can just give what, you the information when you need it. What was the second one? Uh, find the ledgers of Zalan Rune Scourge. Le and you can reply up to 25 words. Of Zalan. Just say got it 12 times. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. That's one word. <laughs> but 25, oh, 25 words, not Thank words. Thank you very, 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 very much. What level of hell are those two on? Nine words. And still have more. If not, then where are they on this plane? Did you, 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 you say that? I'm smushing my face up against the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> you can converse. Like you don't have to immediately yeah. reply. You could like, be, yeah, oh, I can send you, a message I'll, back. I'll say to these guys. Um, she sent us to this one. Companions, um, I, I appear to be receiving a message from Silvera. Okay. Um, she mentions that Zariel uh, last had uh, Trelemar's soul, although it's unlikely she still has it. Oh, that's bad. Oh, okay. Um, she tells, she's told me to seek out Lulu the Holophant and the ledgers of Zalan Rune Scourge. Oh nice, find out where they are. Um, I, I believe I can reply, uh, with short questions. I was going to ask what level of hell they're on, and uh, does anyone else have any other questions? What if they're not in a different level? We need to find out where they are here. Yeah. Ask them... Specific? Ask if they know what area of Avernus. And also how to deal with devils, you know? Oh, if there's... <laughs> We need to find out a way of saying that we have a patron or something to give us some... Okay. We need to be able to deal with... You know, authenticity, I don't know. In our souls, all the time. They sure love their patrons. 
What about... Wait, what was Trell's patron? Well, Trell's patron wasn't a fiendish patron originally. Yeah, he was an He was an other, otherworldly yeah. patron. Yeah. Damn it! Damn it, Trell. What about the, uh, the raven? She's not. Queen. She's just a goddess. Yeah. She's she a goddess of the death, though, don't... Yeah. Uh-oh. We just don't know. I mean, you can send the message later, if you want to think about it. We suck at dealing with devils. Help. <laughs> what level of what level of hell are these two on? We yeah. suck at devils. No, no, no. no. Um, okay. I would just say, um, Any where advice? where in Avernus should we look for them? And we suck with devils. Help. If that's too many or words, just take like, out a few to say we suck devils. How do? <laughs> how do we negotiate with devils? Yeah. Okay. Can we ask? Where in Avernus are they? Mm. And how do we deal with devils? It's only 12 so far. How if do you don't we use negotiate the first... with devils? Yep. Um, you can just send that. You don't have to use all 25 yeah. words. Okay. To keep our souls. To keep while keeping our souls. Okay. Um, you don't get an immediate reply, as if she can't immediately reply to this. She's doing the same. <laughs> if. <laughs> <laughs> You Work need out. to go to. You suck devils? Mandor hand her car door. Within a few moments, Very you dangerous. hear the sound of wind rushing, and the mirror turns uh, liquid, and then the gentleman uh, reappears. Whoa! Is he still face to face? Huh? He's still yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting somewhere, guys. He just like gently pushes you back. Oh! <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Sorry. Oh, you don't need to be sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we use this to get out away from the insects? You could if I let you. Well, that'd be lovely. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but first we have to make a deal. We do? Yes. Yep. I love that response. Well, <laughs> I've spoken to with my master. Mm-hmm. He, he loves dealing with mortals. You know, it's, uh, he's had quite a history of it. Um, yes, we're more than happy to help you. And so I believe the term was to uh, safe passage through the ironclad. It's very achievable. Um, For how long? Let's say a week. Huh. Okay. That works. Does that work? Does that work? How's that work? What's a week in Avernus? You would experience it as you would in the mortal realm. And by safe, you mean? As safe as... I can get this ice devil and these chain devils off your back. I can make sure that no other devils hassle you without provocation. And you? I mean, what do you mean? What about your provocation and safe? As in, will I attack you? I won't attack you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's good to know. That's nice. Now, I can't, if you start fights, I can make no promises on your safety from there. We can We'd, be good. We're, we're antagonize good. We're nice. anyone. I got good. Planned. Just like cross arms with my skeleton. I feel, like, I feel like we're antagonizing people, just us being us, you know? Yes, of course, you're mortals. And also, what I will provide you is, I will give you a name that if you are, if anybody gives you trouble, invoke the name, and they should leave you alone. So unless you provoke them. Okay. Are, are there... Is it sort of a say, is say that so, you can't hurt us or we'll tell this person, kind of like, we'll tell much. on you, kind of a, like... Uh, a very thing. much so. You must understand that within, within Avernus, there is a hierarchy. And certain devils have power and authority over others. Now, in many cases, stating, oh, I have the favor of so-and-so, well, perhaps the devil might think you're bluffing. But if they do call that bluff, well, then there is a risk. If you are genuinely a servant of such and such, they run the risk of angering them, and that can be very bad for devils. That's fair. So, let's talk a little bit of uh, payment. There is um, the commander of the Ironclad is a Abishai, a dragon devil. Yeah. Cool. Their allegiances are tricky. You see, they are very devoted to a being called Tiamat, but they also serve as Modius. They're never really sure where they lie. Mm -hmm. Now, my master would very much like to see somebody he works with, like myself, take command of the Ironclad. 
So, it's just a sort of, oh, a bit of espionage, I suppose. In a place that we have safe travel through. To an extent. Mm. I can um, offer you protections here on the deck, in the lower decks, although you may need to go into somewhere a bit risky to do this. Uh, the terms are, I would like you to place a scroll in the quarters of Captain Ezekiah Stormscale, the general of the Ironclad. You do not need to engage, you do not need to fight, although if you are in discovered, I would recommend that you do so to protect your lives. You must simply place the scroll and not be seen doing so. Now, you've got a couple of imps that can teleport. Why would mm. you want us? They can teleport to two places, not necessarily within here in the realms. Also, you are outsiders. If I send my imps, that implicates that I've done something. Mm. Smart. This guy switched on. Now, okay. some conditions. If you fail to do so, if you try and leave without accomplishing what I've asked, within a week, one of your souls will be forfeit. That will take as a mm, damages. You, I believe, Mr. What did you say your name was? I thought it didn't matter. It will for the contract purposes. But one of you will need to leverage, uh, just in, as, as, as uh, if you try and back out of the deal. It makes sense. I, I came into the store first. Yes, you were the one that wished, wished to make a deal. I put my soul up. As collateral. As collateral. Very good. Obviously, if you complete the task, then the deal is, is the contract is fulfilled. Your soul is yours and you get to keep it. So to be absolutely clear about the deal. Mm -hmm. To be clear about the deal, the you will provide me a service. The service is that you are to place a scroll I give you within the quarters of Captain Ez Ezekai Stormscale, an Abishai that commands the Ironclad. You are not to be seen doing so. By anyone. By anyone. You're going to see us doing it. What if we are Excluding seen? myself. And the imps. If you are seen doing so, then your friend's soul is seen as... Mm, as... You see, that's... We're, we're not from here, so that shouldn't matter, surely. They can't place it back on you, even if we are seen. All right, let's make an amendment then. If you are seen, but as long as you do not reveal who you are working for. Perfect. I'm much more comfortable with that, personally. Yeah. I'm not of course, comfortable at all. If you are but... captured, they will torture you and get the information out of you, so there's that to consider. So I would recommend you are not seen. Okay, and we How about get that? in return? In return, you will have the protection of my liege, who will make sure that you are not hassled, as long as you do not provoke any of the other devils. And until the completion of the task? How do we navigate? No, no, whilst you are completing the task, you will okay. have my protection as well. And once the deal is done and we've placed this scroll, do we still have safe passage That's out? For a week. For a week at the end of placing the scroll? No. That begins? From the moment the deal begins. Right, so we have a week to do this and to leave. Yes. It shouldn't take you, it should take you a few hours to deposit the scroll if you're clever. Which we are. Very clever. So clever. Where is this, the quarters of, of this oh, commander? It's, it's fine. You'll see when you go out onto the deck, it's a raised section here on the top deck. I will also, I'll add to the deal. Blip and Blap will be at your disposal to provide you information about the Ironclad. Uh, they, they can acquire mundane items. I would not ask them to do anything too complicated. They're not very reliable. Oh, useful. Hmm, okay. Well, what if we need to extend the time frame that we need? No, that's not on the cards. I've given you a week. Okay. Blip and Blap are, however, not to be seen. I will give you their services here on the main deck, but once you go to place a scroll, you will not be able to summon them. You know what? I like this deal. It's a, it's a... I think you, it's very reasonable. You, you benefit, we benefit. We benefit, everyone benefits. We're benefiting. We have wine for free. I got yeah. trousers. This, uh, this man is a nice man. What's your name, incidentally? My name? Mm -hmm. Alucarian. That's a trusty name, isn't it? Huh? Al Al Alucarian. Alucarian. 
the Are you clothing. lying about your name to us so that we can't say anything? Can I make an insight Are you check? implicating somebody else there? <laughs> That's neat. You can make an insight check. Can I? 23. He is as, he is unreadable. He just is his calm face. If we were, and I would, I wouldn't do this to you. Just walk this way a little bit and then say, what deal can you offer that's better than yours? Oh, then your soul would be forfeit. But we haven't made the deal yet. Is that what you think? Have I said the words already? Who says you need to? Oh, we suck at this. God, I shouldn't have wine. I really shouldn't have wine. No. Can you stop drinking at least while we're in hell? But if an imp- Just while we're in hell. Just as a, as a suggestion. As a general piece of advice, don't try and double deal on devils. You don't want to get caught out. It would be very bad. Was it the trousers? If you curse these trousers? No. Yeah. Gotta be careful those I can't promise that those trousers were not cursed before Black found them. Hmm. They look okay. Well, what do you guys think? Well, I, still, I mean, I guess it's, it's done. Terrible, oh, terrible idea. Love, I do love how you have little discussions about it. That's very sweet. <laughs> yeah. mm. it what makes... about you, my dear? Is there I anything don't... you care for? Not right now. Oh, but perhaps in the future. Mm. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> he just smiles. Just blush so, a bit. <laughs> an agreement then? What choice do we have? I mean, look at him. You, he points to the two chain devils and the ice devil waiting outside like, here is your other option. We can take, we could, we could fight to be fair. Okay. You could. I think this is the best choice that we have right now. Of course, that wouldn't help you later on in the Ironclad if other devils were to harass you. Unless you have some other devil ally that I, I imagine you've not even had a chance to meet anybody else. Like the fairy guy. Yeah, he was a good guy. Oh yes, the ferryman's very helpful, but he can't help you now, I'm afraid. I say we make the deal. Yep. Excellent. All in favour? Sure. Very good. It's I. Well, it seems a majority. He claps his hands, and you feel a tightening in your chest. Can. A week it is. Um. Seems we got the. Go to Motor Guy. The, the, so the name that we can give if we get harassed by anyone? He just says, well, it would be my Lord Lorcan. Just checking yeah. that we have the right one. As long as you do not speak it when you are engaging in what we've agreed. And you want this to succeed, obviously, without a, without a hitch. Of course. Then what advice can you give us? Be clever. Uh, I can tell you that Ezekai doesn't trust many other devils. He keeps a small squadron of horned devils in a personal barracks below his quarters. But he does have a shadow, a black Abishai, referred to as Shadow Claw, keeps hidden. You should make sure that they're not watching you. I got these guys. Mm hmm. Can we just like. Put them in first? Put them in first. Or use them as a distraction. Or maybe, yeah. they're quiet. Yes, yeah, a distraction, but I would recommend that you do so in a clandestine nature. Perhaps observe your target for a little bit. See what they do. Well, I'm going to go get these gentlemen out and away from my store. Good luck. Okay. I wish you all the best. Do you have the scroll? Yes. Just blap, and blap's like holding it. Can I read it? Hmm? Can I read it? Can you read in fun? Yeah. It's written in a language you don't understand. Weird. Checks out. <laughs> Great. Would I be able to read it? Sure. With silence. Lucius passes it to you. Not Lucius. Can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I? Alucarian steps out and you can see the ice devil goes to like strike him and he just holds his hand up and he's like, and there's like some sort of conversation going. The devil just kind of slams the spear on the ground and they stalk off. <laughs> I wave. Uh, yeah, you read it. You, the gist of it that you get is, a lot of it doesn't make sense, but the gist of it seems to implicate um, 
Ezekai in some sort of plan to release Tiamat from her prison and to help overthrow Zariel and Asmodeus. Mm. It's like, make sure your forces are delivered when the queen is released. You know, her conquest of, of the Vernus will begin. Make sure you're ready. Speak to nobody. Like, it's kind of written like a communique. Yeah. But it's a fake one. Yeah. To try and it's make, like to push It's trying to imply in that, like, so Asmodeus is like, you fucking little shit. <laughs> is that Asmodeus' voice? voice. It's kind of, yeah. You little shit, you little bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. That was close. And then, yeah, uh, Alucarian comes back and is just like, well, good luck. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, uh, and we can take that as a short rest if you want. Sweet. Cool. Uh, I've got some hit dice to spend then. Um, <laughs> the first deal is made. There will be many more. Are you trying to get every single one of us to make some crazy oh. deal? No. <laughs> 29. But you are in a place where, like, yeah, making deals is going to kind of be a survival technique here. Ooh. Great. We need to figure out a better way to make deals. I mean, not putting yourself in positions where you don't really have a choice is probably very advisable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. Seems like we've got a job to do. And that involves clandestine, sneaking around, maybe going invisible and sneaking in Juto. Cam? Yeah. You've sold the DOS loot, haven't you? Oh yeah, that thing. That was the first to go. Man. You what? I sold that thing. The thing is, thing is this so thing is, well. let's be honest, is dragons that we've seen in the past can kind of see us invisible anyway. Hmm. It was that Plus, I do have a ring that allows me to turn invisible. True that. I, I don't go, think it's going to work. I can go invisible. How can you go invisible? Evandra can let me go invisible. It's my divinity. It's my, uh, my clerical abilities, you know? Do you still have contact with Evandra while we're... I barely had contact with her when I was in there. Well, this is going off. True. Are there, yeah. like, <laughs> bones and stuff on the ground? Around. Are there bones on the ground? Mm. Not here. I think they'd okay. be cleaned away here. But looking out onto this vast wasteland that extends out from the ironclad into the, the deeper regions of Avernus, there's tons of bones just scattered everywhere. Cool. There's like bones, viscera of like some long forgotten war, like rotten ancient organs that are slowly crumbling away into dust. This Ooh, is the site nice. of an eternal battle between devils and demons. Right now you're in a section where obviously there's no fighting, but you can even hear now in the far distance, far, far, miles and miles and miles away, the sounds of war so clashing. Cool. As you're looking outside, you watch as this orange glow, this streak, miles and miles away, streaks across the sky hits the ground and this enormous plume of smoke oh, and dust. That's so cool. Can I like try and find a couple of like big old teeth and like just put them on my head and make horns? So you, you step off the ironclad, you go down like the dusty ramp and you're like digging around. Just digging and around you can in find, the bones. Like, these giant bone claws, yeah. And as you go down there, there are like imps and stuff scavenging as well. <gasps> And they're like, look out, and they're kind of like, ah, like trying to get you to go away. And then like you're fighting, and then yeah, you can find like two big sort of like bone like horns. Like one's maybe slightly bigger than the other, but yeah, blending in. What do we do about Oliver? She's <laughs> blending very, in camouflage. She's very I'm a eager now. to give up her soul. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? Yeah. Um, Should have made her soul forfeit. Well, for the deal. Yeah. I mean, I feel like she's going to at some point maybe. Make a deal with someone just <laughs> for the sake of it. And it will just be a very one sided deal. It's very unpredictable. Exactly. Very unpredictable. If she is happy to do it, I don't see what the problem is. True. But we could use her help <laughs> with a soul. We can just ensure that she gives it to the best person. That sounds like you're sacrificing her soul. She is, if she is consenting and willing. Trelinmar was consenting and willing, and now we're here, and I don't want to come back. Yeah, he was pushed to the brink, though. As you guys are talking, you begin to see many of the 
you begin to hear like this. And a section of the, the upper deck, which obviously is stairs that leads down deeper into the old ship of the Ironclad, you begin to hear dozens of armoured feet and bodies as devils in various armour and weapons begin piling up onto the deck itself, coming up from the lower levels, like, and they form like squared battalions. There's maybe about a hundred of them or so, and they begin filling the open plaza, and they're looking up towards the, the back or the front of the ship. You just see them all walk past the shop, which you're still in. Hmm, that's, a lot, that's a lot of them. Um, a lot of people. A lot so of, were lot they, things. Were they with the... Uh... Alzer, you stepped outside, didn't you? Because you were picking up bones. Yeah. So Alzer, you actually see them as they're moving past the <laughs> tent. You watch as legions of them, all in different armor and plates, and you can see different types of devils, some of these ice Aww. devils, some of the chain devils in armor. You see a couple more Erinese, the, the wing feathered ladies. Aww. They begin piling up, and they're looking up at what have once would have been like the captain's kind of the, the helm of the ship, and where there is obviously a captain's quarters, and there's like this wide pair of metal stairs that lead up. Um, a large kind of steering wheel, which has long been ripped off, and now is uh, an altar of Asmodeus uh, up on the top deck of the oh, ship. Cool. And emerging from the captain's quarters, you see they're they're probably about eight feet tall. They're not huge, but you see a blue bipedal dragon. So they've got wings and a tail, and they're wearing long, rich, dark red robes. And they're clutching a staff tipped with the symbol of Asmodeus. Dread-like tendrils come down and they've got this huge kind of central horn. Blue dragon man. Not like a dragonborn, this is like a real bipedal dragon. That's cool. And it kind of steps out and it's got a, uh, like a, almost like a tiara, like a kind of like circlet. And it kind of emerges out and you begin it hearing, it begins to speak. My legions, our lord Asmodeus informs us that there is more demons of Baphomet that linger near. Today we shall head out to feast upon them. You shall go and slaughter their wretched enemy. Commander, he turns and the ice devil that you guys had seen earlier now <laughs> emerges. Take them. Take them and find this demonic spawn and slay them. Go! And he kind of raises his staff and thunder, like black thunder and light psh, connects with the top of the staff. Yeah. And all the, all the devils just start screaming and roaring and banging with their weapons and armored boots. And then they begin filtering off and you have to quickly move out of the way as they begin storming down this kind of ramp of dust and bone as they just begin making their way down and storming across the, the landscape of Avernus. Oh, I'm going to run back into the shop. <laughs> Demons of Baphomet, drew me. Demons of Baphomet, draw me. Uh, sorry? Demons of Baphomet, draw me. What you, is that a code? There's, there's it's, it's, like, it's like a war. There's, there's like, they're going to fight. The ice, the, uh, we hear, we, we, that's the we point heard. of this entire realm. There's, there's, there's a big war. Well, then we'll make sure that we're nowhere near that area. Yeah. Um, is now a good time to do the whole infiltration thing while most of their forces are out fighting? This is very true. Yeah. Was the but. person we're trying to? Is oh, we have the yeah, dragon guy. Yeah, there's a big, there's a big dragon guy. What if no one's there? Where did he go? He I mean, you, just as a as a thing, like you saw, like maybe like a hundred troops leave. Yeah. This Iron Clan definitely holds more de devils than that. Like yeah. the, that, you imagine is a strike force being sent out. It's not that the place is now undefended. Did he go back inside? Yeah, I think Alzra would have seen him. Like as the troops begin making their way down, he turns and heads back inside. Yeah, he's back in. Okay. Okay. I suggest. We do some reconnaissance before we carry out this mission. Yeah. 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 Perfect. You know the invisibility I got, it's like six seconds. Some reconnaissance <laughs> to see how many troops there are, where this room is, what this person, this person, this dragon's behavior is, if they have a schedule, if they have a plan. And then we go. Don't want to mess it up. Sounds good. Really can't mess it up. No. no. Got my soul. Okay. Got my soul on the yeah. line. Yeah. So you guys step out onto the into the plaza, the main deck of the ironclad, 
Um, you can see that, like, not streets, but little alleyways are formed in between these ramshackle buildings. And also in the center of the main deck and then at either end of the other ship are these huge steam columns. And you can see that a hole has been cut out so that they've formed their own little shops, but they're actually blacksmith forges. Oh, cool. And you can see devils making weapons and armor for the legions in there. I wonder if we can stack deals, you know. He very specifically said I not to double deal. I wouldn't advise it. He said that, but he's gonna say that. Yeah. But if we can use my soul, right? Right. As a bargaining chip for multiple devils, only one of them can take my soul. The risk becomes greater that your soul is taken in the first place, though. Yeah. I think we're trying to work out a solution in which your soul is not taken. You're right. So offering it to everyone around, probably not the best idea. That would make you very desirable to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> I already am. Yeah. I knew that was coming. <sighs> sure. Um, so... You've known him for so little time and you still... You, you can, you're starting to learn... I'm getting to learn. I'm getting to learn his pattern, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take long. No. I'm like the wind. I have no pattern. You, you have wind. I do have wind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a lot of wine today. I'm yeah. sorry. It just happens. Just I stand in front of me, not behind. I was serious about the no drinking while we're in hell thing. I think yeah, it's yeah. just, you know... We need to be sharp to. and on alert. Mm. Yep, I'll stick to water from now on. Mm -hmm. Good, perfect. That's a great start. Is there... Here's a plan. Is there a way that we could mask what the contents of the letter actually is? Pretend it says something else and have someone deliver it to this person. That would involve us being seen. Not necessarily. And making deals. Not necessarily. If we get, for example, we mask the contents of the letter so it says something completely different, totally irrelevant. Oh, 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 Rainy. Cam. Yeah, yeah, you So, can't. if we sleep, right, I can prepare a new spell which does exactly that. <laughs> well, that's... That's perfect. And then what we could do is we could get plib or plob or blip or blob or whatever they, whatever the Blip and blap. Blip and blap. And they're literally just sat on the floor next to you. Perfect. Blip and blap. We can have them teleport in, drop the letter. Oh, we can't go in there. No? We, no. we just told that, no. Yep. Right. Okay. Not only is it warded, but the Alucarian said we can't go in there. I see. But my intention is that we find some way of getting the masked letter to this person. He reads it, thinks nothing of it. It's just a letter that says, hey, how's things? How are you keeping up? He puts it in the corner somewhere. And then when the spell fades, it's unmasked. Someone goes in there, sees the cr true letter. What if someone of a dragon lineage has the ability of true sight? True. Or some other such. I, I just feel that a, dra a draconic creature would perhaps have abilities to see through illusion. Perhaps. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. It is a risk. I'm not certain. I have a skeleton. I've got these skeletons and they can't torture them if they're captured. That's so very true. Elora, right. hello. You can change shape still, can you not? I can change shape, yeah. But I'll change myself to look like Cam. Oh I'm, man, hello. And also, Look I, at mean, this guy. <laughs> I mean, to a creature or something small. Yeah. Something small that could sneak into a chamber? While also yeah. carrying the letter. A big scroll. Mm hmm. Small insect. Comedy. Oh, bird. Drop it. I could change into a bird, but. That Someone does... would see the scroll being held by a bird, not say anything. I mean, your passive perception, you ain't seen no birds. No. Ain't seen no birds. <laughs> any rats? Nope. It's devils and little, little, little maggots. Any little creatures? Uh, little devils? Like, there are like little kind of like vulture sized winged devils that fly around, but they're clearly devils. I don't think I can turn into any of the things that are here. The wards. It would look out of place. Yeah. What do they stop? Teleportation, that sort of thing. So the mansion door wouldn't work. Oh yeah, you can't just, you know, he's warded that place up against that sort of thing. You know, you're gonna send an assassin to kill somebody, it's the first thing you do, right? You go, poof, stab, 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 stab. Mm. That's a good point. I've got blindness, I could make him blind. Well, once he suspects it. <laughs> yeah, he probably would know actually, yeah. He'd be like, why am I blind all of a sudden? Mm. Mm. A plan is afoot. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly can't see anything. <laughs> 
Well, you ain't got long, so mm. you gotta think of something. But you'll fetch any items we might need. Yeah, gen generally, as long as you know it doesn't go against you know what we've agreed with Alucarian and stuff. Okay, well that's useful. What what you need? You need something? Well, not yet, not yet. All right, not yet. Um, also, you know, we know stuff about Avernus and the storm and the ironclad. Is there are there any, are there any secret passages? Yeah. Do you, how well do you? Yeah, know maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there'd be any like made secret passages, but you got the middle decks below us. Mm. They run the whole length of the ship, and then you got the lower decks below that. Okay. Do you know where the troops usually? The main bank? troops, like the main arm, the legions. They're in the mid deck. All their all their barracks and mess is all down there. I mean, that's you know that's where they're normally stored. And then there's you know down in the, the deep lower bits is where they keep the big the big guys. Um, but up there, the captain's quarters. He only keeps a small. He just keeps a small guard. Uh, he doesn't trust a lot of the devils here. So there's uh, about four little personal guards, and then he's his uh, little shadowy friend. All right. This ice keeps an eye on everything. Ice insect, right? Yes. He doesn't like the devil we just dealt with, right? Or me. Or you. Mm -hmm. I don't think but he likes anyone. We go to him because he's the second hand man of, of the dragon man, right? He's currently yes. out fighting now, isn't he? He'll come back, right? Yeah. Maybe. If he comes back, I go up to him and say, look, we managed to get out the devil thing, but I could offer my soul to him. <laughs> Okay, no. so again, this right? is but, right. But no. all we gotta do. I thought I was keen. You seem so keen. <laughs> well, the thing is, if we succeed in the original plan, we got safe passage, so he can't take my soul. No, but Not you have made here. another deal. He can't take your soul here, sure, potentially, but the moment we leave here, and we will eventually, he'll follow us. If we make the deal so that he takes in the ironclad. No. That sounds like a very no. No. specific deal that. He just won't agree to. He'll know that you're up to something. Can we become and look like the insect? And just walk on in there? Y'all got any magic that does that? You maybe could. Maybe. Are you able to look like Adora? a big blue insect thing? Alora? I have to be the same size as me, so I'm not big enough. You're about the same size as an Abishai, though. They're not even much bigger than you. Did we see any of those? You haven't yet. Alzra did. I don't know what it looks like. He's the blue the dragon, dragon guy. guy. Can you grow wings and a tail and claws and a big mouth? Can I try that? I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Yeah, tell the me. Alter self is like. Well, the alter self, you probably could. Um, um, you, you probably couldn't have functional it's, wings. It's got to be like the same. Yeah. Basic size and shape as me. Yeah. So it's kind of. You might not be able to turn into as an long, exact replica. It is bipedal, could... so it. Yeah. It might. Yeah, yeah maybe. But there's other there's devils more... around here that. I mean, the, the Alucarian. Yeah. Like, he just had horns and a tail. Like, when you saw him in his true form, he looked like a human with curved horns, yeah, wings, yeah. and a tail. That was it. Um, um, and you, you, I'm pretty sure that you as a group have encountered a succubus before. Yeah. So, because you fought one in the Underdark, I think. Yeah, we did. So, you, you, you know that he was a succubus, or an incubus for a male. Um, they look humanoid. The Erinice that you met, she was pretty much a, yeah. a, a woman with feathered wings and... You know, you've seen a couple of them have cloven hooves, but not all of them seem to. We need to pick um, a disguise that can gain access to the same place. We can't just have any old random. It says, you transform your appearance, you decide what you look like, including your height, weight, facial features, sound of your voice, hair length, coloration, and distinguishing characteristics. You can make yourself appear as a member of another race, though none of your stats change. You can't appear as a creature of a different size than you, and your basic shape stays the same. If you're bipedal, you can't. Okay, um, so you might not be able to make wings. I think that you could make yourself look like a tiefling, because you could grow a tail and horns. Can I make myself look like Jeter? Yeah, yeah. Hi. But you can also create a, a unique, you could be like, I'm, I want to look like a, a unique tiefling. You could just make yourself look like a new tiefling. Yeah, I'm just doing it for fun. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying. Um, I could dispel his wards. I could do that too. But there might be some extra enchantments could on I there to let him know it? once they've been Yeah, you can turn into a dragon. Spelled. Like into an Korat, alarm. But small. Yeah. Yeah. It worked. I mean, even Korat, like, wasn't... You can make yourself, like, appear, like, I think a foot or so higher, I think, so... We should recon. We should figure out the layout of this yeah. first before we do anything else. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Okay. Juta, yeah. you want to do that? Layout. I mean, that's what I suggested the first thing. <laughs> yeah, and we can get Brick and Blap to make maybe a little map. Yeah, we can do that. I mean, I've seen in, I've only seen inside once, but I got a good memory. Sure you draw that up to Juto, and then Juto, you use that to suss out any good, bad, average spots. Okay. And patrols and whatnot. What's in there? Sure. Make myself look like a random succubus that we've seen. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, what it just doesn't have for? the wings. You just don't have the wings. So you can have like horns and a tail, but you don't have any wings. Don't do this to me, girl. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I turn back into myself. <laughs> doing a dangerous game. Playing a dangerous game. Playing a dangerous game. Okay. So your plan for next you know, you time do that. is that's cool. So you're sending <laughs> sending Blip to well, Blip's gonna drop a map. Yep. And then you're sending Juto to kind of wreck you around. Mm -hmm. And this is the elevated captain's area. Oh, you want to? Oh, yeah. You're, a, you're checking out the elevated captain's area, yes? Yeah. Mhm. Mm <laughs> you, you're looking at me all sure. very blankly. Yeah, the, the area around his yeah. around his quarters. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, we'll do that next time. Okay. <laughs> we'll nice. do that next time. So next time, espionage, yeah. sneaking. Yeah. Sneaking around in hell. Tactical. Filling out a contract. I can give us some extra stealth. Yeah, sure. Perfect. That's good the truth. Good old pass the out truth. Well, um, command except you it never do. works. Tune in next week for the end of the mini series. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least at least for Cam. At least for Cam. And you might you don't lose your soul straight away. Chalamar's deal was very kind of bad because it was a desperate deal. Yeah. Whereas you can just be like, you know, with this deal, you get the impression that you get to live your life out. But it's when you die that the, they get their soul. Yeah. Oh. That's all right. Oh, perfect. That's I think it's okay. so bad. Just I don't need it back. When yeah. I die, I don't need it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. Oh. It's great. I'll do it. No yeah. Time. Yeah. Hey, come back. <laughs> oh, well, easy. Just take mine. Yeah. And just as a reminder, like, well, I don't, you guys, I don't know if you made notes, but there are other people you can go to. Like, you've, you've made at least one other yeah. demonic Kessera? contact. Yeah. Yep. Wait, what? Kalisa. Kalisa. The Erinese. Kalisa, yeah. Wait, who's Erinese? Speak my name. She was last week. The, the, the one wing, that flew down. The winged lady. The one that Ozra fell in love with when she ripped another demon in half. Yeah. When she went, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got... She also said she'd give us a freebie. I've got Erinese yeah, written down and Kareem. I've got trousers, so... Kalisa is her name. <laughs> She's yeah, She crazy. is an Erinese. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Still got, still got some of these bad boys, some soul coins. In separations? No, these are soul these coins. These are soul coins. Soul, soul coins. Oh, nice. So when you actually get a soul coin, because you guys have made a deal with this guy, but for like any future trading, like a lot of people, they'll only accept these bad boys. Mm. Cool. Oh boy. Delicioso. Get some. Get some. Oh boy. Cool. Well, that's going to be our episode for today. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed uh, this. This was a, a little bit, it was kind of, it was always fun doing a little bit of combat, but it was a bit of a like run away quickly. Yeah. yeah. What a romp. Um, Just as a point, you had not even done, had you done a quarter of its health? I was about to turn into a Triceratops. You were. <laughs> you had done over a quarter of its health, just. Just. Alone? And that was only the, the main dude. That was only the main guy, yeah. The Chain Devils had had like nothing. That's fine, but that was on my own. Yeah, yeah but he if also everyone else took helped, you out in like... He'd be dead. He'd have yeah, killed the guy. I think if you had continued that combat outside, the the proper Legion would have turned yeah, up. More, yeah, more would have turned up is the problem. You were <sighs> killing the right-hand man of the... Yeah, you, didn't know, you didn't know that at the time. We didn't know that at the time. But, yeah, that, but also other devils probably would have been like, ho ho ho, we, we want a piece of those mortals too. Ho 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 travelers. Ho, 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 travelers. Ho, ho, ho. Thanks ho, for bringing ho, them souls ho. to Avernus for me. I'll Thanks for watching. Uh, we will be back <laughs> next Sunday, I think. Yep. I don't think we're yeah. off. So we'll be back next Sunday for more Lightfall Descent. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Don't forget you can watch us in our regular campaign every Sunday, twitch.tv forward slash yogscast or twitch.tv forward slash highrollersdnd. Five o'clock UK time. It's basically three hours before we start this. Come and watch so you're us there. See five hours um, of us every Sunday. Yeah, yeah, we also put this out as a podcast on our podcast channel, also on our YouTube channel. D and D upload it to their channel. Yep. More cool D and D stuff coming up next. Enjoy. Take care. Bye. Goodbye from us. Bye. Bye. Bye.